Hello, this is Dr. Tom Lewis with Real Health Clinics, and today I want to discuss the connection between cardiovascular diseases and Alzheimer's disease. So the problem we have when it comes to treating patients is you have to see your neurologist, and a neurologist does not consider this connection whatsoever. However, I'd also recommend you do not see your cardiologist because we've already tested patients with statins and ACE inhibitors and high blood pressure medications, and those certainly don't work either. We really need to understand the fundamental cause to both these conditions, and they are completely related and overlapping. So the last time we spoke about the continuum between heart attacks and Alzheimer's disease, and really, when you look at this continuum, you see that heart attacks are associated with problems with the largest vessels, occlusions or blockages, whereas Alzheimer's has everything to do with, with the loss of function of the finest and smallest capillaries. And then all these other diseases fit in between that. So on the next slide, we've been led to believe that this is the cause of vascular disease. We have some plaque growing and building up inside vessels and slowing blood flow. And this is obviously a healthy vessel where you don't have that blood flow issue. But really, this does not describe the true mechanism of cardiovascular disease, thus the true mechanism of Alzheimer's disease. So the next slide, so if we look at a blood vessel, and now this area down here is where the blood is flowing, a blood vessel is a fairly complex structure. And at the very edge of it, is a series of small vessels that lead in and feed and supply nutrients to basically the pipe, the pipe of the blood vessel that carries the blood. So really, a blood vessel is a complicated set of physiology that is a large vessel fed and nourished by small vessels. And this is where the disease starts. Next slide, please. So. When we look at the true mechanism of vascular disease, this is an image by Dr. McCulley at Harvard in one of his famous papers where we see that we have small vessels feeding the structure of the blood vessel. And if these blood vessels start dying, we have infiltration from inflammatory uh, cytokines and all kinds of debris to help with the disease, help cleanse the disease process and we build up this plaque. But the plaque didn't form here. It formed from the outside of the vessel into the inside of the vessel. So in this schematic diagram, the, the plaque is forming from this outside section to the inside, not by a buildup of cholesterol on the inside like we've been led to believe. So when you look at it from this perspective, it's not happening on the interior of a large vessel. It's happening from the exterior in the small vessels. And it's, a very, it's very logical to think about a very small pipe versus a very large pipe. When you start having debris collecting, the small pipe is going to plug first. And in the case of vascular disease, the small pipes, the small vessels that feed this large vessel start becoming diseased and start building up plaque. That's exactly what's happening in the brain, in the small vessels, the capillaries. Next slide. So we actually have a demonstration on our own bodies or an example of how, how this happens. This is the skin and this is a pimple, okay? So look at the surface of the skin as being the interior of a blood vessel. And a pimple is actually an infectious disease where we have all kinds of cytokines and uh, inflammatory response. And we have a red spot at first, and then it builds into this pus sac. Well, when this pus sac bursts, we, we've all seen this in pimples, but if it bursts on the inside of a blood vessel, that's a problem. That can lead to a heart attack. It can lead to a stroke. And in the smaller vessels, it can lead to microinfarcts, can lead to vascular dementia, or on the capillary level, when enough of these things occur in capillaries, it can lead to Alzheimer's disease. Next slide, please. So in summary, heart disease is a disease of the small vessels that support the large vessels. So small vessels down to capillaries. And Alzheimer's disease is a disease of these same small vessels that happen to be in the brain. So it's the capillaries in the brain. So we can see now the connection between heart attacks and heart disease. It's a disease of very small vessels. 
and Alzheimer's disease, which is also a disease of the small vessels. My name is Dr. Tom Lewis with Real Health Clinics. Uh, thank you very much for your time.